The Little Mermaid is a 1989 American animated musical fantasy film produced by Walt Disney Feature Animation and Walt Disney Pictures. The 28th Disney animated feature film. It is loosely based on the 1837 Danish fairy tale of the same name by Hans Christian Andersen. The film tells the story of a mermaid princess named Ariel, who dreams of becoming human and falls in love with a human prince named Eric, which leads to her to make a magic deal with an evil sea witch to become human and be with him. Written and directed by Ron Clements and John Musker, with music by Alan Menken and lyrics by Howard Ashman, who also served as co-producer alongside John Musker, and art direction by Michael Paraza Jr. and Donald A. Towns. The film features the voices of Jody Benson, Christopher Daniel Barnes, Pat Carroll, Samuel E. Wright, Jason Marin, Kenneth Mars, Buddy Hackett, and I'm going to say this wrong, Renee Ab So sorry, Renee, for that pronunciation. Walt Disney planned to put the story in a proposed package film containing Anderson's stories, but scrapped the project. In 1985, while working on The Great Mouse Detective, 1986, Clements and Musker decided to adapt the fairy tale and proposed it to Disney Studios chairman Jeffrey Katzenberg, who declined due to work on a sequel to the 1984 film Splash approved of it. Ashman became involved and brought in Mangan. With supervision from Katzenberg, they made a Broadway-style structure with musical numbers as the staff was working on Oliver and Company, 1988. He warned that it would earn less since it appealed to females. He was convinced that it would be Disney's first blockbuster hit. The Little Mermaid was released to theaters on November 17, 1989 to critical acclaim earning praise for the animation, music, and characters. It was also a commercial success, garnering $84 million at the domestic box office during its initial release, and $233 million in total lifetime gross worldwide. I can't even count that high. After the major success of the 1986 Disney animated film The Great Mouse Detective and the 1988 
Disney and Amblin live action animated film Who Framed Roger Rabbit? The Little Mermaid is given credit for breath breathing life back into the art of Disney animated feature films after some films produced by Disney were struggling. It also marked the start of the era known as the Disney Renaissance. The film won two Academy Awards for Best Original Score and Best Original Song, which was Under the Sea. The film's success led to a stage adaptation with a book by Doug Wright and additional songs by Alan Menken and new lyricist Glenn Slater opened in Denver in July 2007 and began performances on Broadway January 10th, 2008, starring Sierra Bogus. Other derived works and material inspired by the movie include a live-action film adaptation directed by Rob Marshall, currently in production, and a 2019 live musical presentation of the film airing on ABC as part of the wonderful world of Disney. Ariel is a 16-year-old mermaid princess unsatisfied with underwater life in the underwater kingdom of Atlantica. She is fascinated by the human world, wanting desperately to become a human and live on the land. With her best friend, Flounder, Ariel collects and keeps random human artifacts in her grotto and consults a seagull named Scuttle for inaccurate knowledge about human culture and the items she finds. Ariel's father, King Triton, frequently warns Ariel that contact between merpeople and humans is forbidden. He decides to hire a crab named Sebastian, who serves as his advisor and court composer to keep Ariel under tight control. One night, Ariel, Flounder, and an unwilling Sebastian travel to the ocean surface to watch a celebration for Prince Eric's birthday on the ship. Ariel falls in love with the prince instantly. Soon, a violent storm arrives, wrecking the ship. Ariel rescues Eric from drowning and brings him to shore. She sings to him, but returns to the sea just as he regains consciousness to avoid being discovered. Fascinated by the memory of her mesmerizing voice, 
Eric vows to find and marry the girl who saved his life, and Ariel vows to find a way to join him as a human being. Discovering Ariel's new behavior, Triton questions Sebastian, who accidentally exposes that Ariel has gone back to the surface, come in contact with humans, and fallen in love with Eric. An outraged Triton confronts Ariel, uncovers her grotto, and destroys her collection of items she collected from the surface. After Triton leaves, two eels named Flotsam and Jetsam convince the crying Ariel to visit Ursula, the evil sea witch. Ursula makes a deal with Ariel to transform her into a human for three days in exchange for her voice, which Ursula puts in a nautilus shell she keeps around her neck. Within these three days, Ariel must cause the prince to fall in love with her and give her the kiss of true love. If Ariel gets Eric to kiss her, she will remain human permanently. If she does not kiss him, Ariel will turn back into a mermaid and belong to Ursula. Ariel accepts and is then given human legs and taken to the surface by Flounder and Sebastian. Eric finds Ariel alone on the beach and takes her to his castle, but is still unaware that she is the one who saved him before due to her silence. Ariel spends time with Eric, and at the end of the second day, they almost kiss on a boat, but Flotsam and Jetsam thwart them. That night, to ensure Ariel's failure, Ursula disguises herself as a beautiful young woman named Vanessa and appears on the shore in front of Eric's castle, singing with Ariel's voice. Eric recognizes the song immediately and the incognito Ursula casts an enchantment on Eric, which causes him to become entranced with Vanessa. The next morning, our Ariel discovers that Eric will be married to Vanessa later in the day and is heartbroken. Scuttle then discovers Vanessa's true identity and informs Ariel, who immediately plunges into the sea to pursue the wedding barge upon receiving the news. Sebastian informs Triton what's happened and Scuttle is sent alongside other marine creatures to intercept the wedding. In the chaos, the Nautilus shell around Ursula's neck is destroyed, and Ariel's voice is returned. 
breaking the enchantment Ursula has placed over Eric. Realizing that Ariel is the girl who saved him from the shipwreck, Eric rushes to embrace her, but the sun sets and she transforms back into a mermaid. Ursula returns to her true form and drags Ariel into the ocean with her. Triton confronts Ursula and demands that she release his daughter, but the deal is inviolable, even against the king. When Ursula offers to free Ariel in exchange for his trident, Triton agrees to take her place and is transformed into a polyp, losing his authority over Atlantica. Ariel is then released and Ursula declares herself the new ruler. But before she can use the trident, Eric stops her with a harpoon. She tries to kill Eric, but when Ariel intervenes, Ursula inadvertently kills Flotsam and Jetsam. This enrages Ursula, and she uses the trident to grow to a monstrous size. Ariel and Eric reunite on the surface just before Ursula emerges from the water, towering over them. She then creates a storm and pulls huge sunken ships from the ocean's bottom to the surface. Before she can kill Ariel, Eric steers one of the wrecked ships towards Ursula and impales her with its splintered bowsprit, killing her instantly. With Ursula dead, Triton and the other polyps in Ursula's garden revert to their original state. Realizing that Ariel truly loves Eric, Triton willingly changes her from a mermaid into a human permanently and accepts their marriage. Ariel and Eric marry on a ship and depart. Voice cast. Jody Benson as Princess Ariel, the 16-year-old mermaid princess of Atlantica who was fascinated with humans, especially Prince Eric. Kenneth Mars as King Triton, Ariel's father and the ruler of Atlantica who despises humans. Pat Carroll as Ursula, a sea witch who took Ariel's voice in exchange for human legs and is determined to ruin her attempts to get Eric to love her. Jody Benson voices Vanessa, Ursula's human alter ego and disguise. Christopher Daniel Barnes as Prince Eric, a human prince saved by Ariel and is determined to find and marry her. Samuel E. Wright as 
Sebastian, a Jamaican crab who serves as King Triton's advisor and court composer. Jason Marin as Flounder, Ariel's fish best friend. Buddy Hackett as Scuttle, a dim-witted seagull who shares Ariel's fascination with humans and teaches her about human stuff. Patty Edwards as Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula's symbiotic and insidious pet eels. Ben Wright as Grimsby, Eric's loyal steward. Edie McClurg as Carlotta, Eric's maid. Kimmy Robertson as Andrina, Arista, Adela, and Alana, four of Ariel's sisters. Caroline Vasicek as Aquata and Atina, two more of Ariel's sisters. Will Ryan as Harold, a seahorse and Trident's Herald. I'm going to pronounce this name incorrectly a second time. Renee Ab Aberhuan Nois as Chef Louis. Eric's mad chef who attempts to cook Sebastian, but fails. Thank you again, Renee, for no hard feelings. Production. Development of story. The Little Mermaid was originally planned as part of one of Walt Disney's earliest feature films. A proposed package film featuring vignettes of Hans Christian Andersen tales. Development started soon after Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in the late 1930s but was delayed due to various circumstances. In 1985, Ron Clemens became interested in a film adaptation of The Little Mermaid while he was serving as a director on The Great Mouse Detective alongside John Musker. Clemens discovered the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale while browsing through a bookstore. Believing the story provided an ideal basis for an animated feature film and keen on creating a film that took place underwater, Clemens wrote and presented a two-page treatment of The Little Mermaid. To Chief Jeffrey Katzenberg at a gong show idea suggestion meeting. Katzenberg passed the project over because at the time the studio was in development on a sequel to their live-action mermaid comedy Splash, 1984, and felt The Little Mermaid would be too similar a project. The next day, however, 
Katzenberg approved of the idea for possible development, along with Oliver and company. While in production in the 1980s, the staff found, by chance, story and visual development work done by K. Nielsen for Disney's proposed 1930s Anna Anderson feature. Many of the changes made by the staff in the 1930s to Hans Christian Andersen's original story was coincidentally the same as the changes made by the Disney writers in the 1980s. That year, Clements and Musker expanded the two-page idea into a 20-page rough script, eliminating the role of the mermaid's grandmother and expanding the roles of the Merman King and the Sea Witch. However, the film's plans were momentarily shelved as Disney focused its attention on Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Oliver and Company as more immediate releases. In 1987, songwriter Howard Ashman became involved with the writing and development of The Little Mermaid after he was asked to contribute a song to Oliver and Company. He proposed changing the minor character Clarence, the English butler crab, to a Jamaican crab and shifting the music style throughout the film to reflect this. At the same time, Katzenberg, Clemens, Musker, and Ashman revised the story format to make The Little Mermaid a musical with a Broadway style story structure with the song sequences serving as the tent poles of the film. Ashman and composer Alan Menken both noted for their work as the writers of the successful off-Broadway stage musical Little Shop of Horrors teamed up to compose the entire song score. In 1988, with Oliver and company out of the way, The Little Mermaid was slated as the next major Disney release. <laughs> 